Brandon, what work do you specialise in here at Dicker Precision? So mainly we do a lot of um, pumps, oil and gas industries. We do a couple of bits for sort of racing cars and a few bits like that, but it's mainly pumps and oil and gas. And the machines that you've got on site, I've noticed they're predominantly three axis machines and the work that you do is six sided uh, components. And is this your first fifth axis machine? So this is our first fifth axis. We, we've been toying with the idea for a few years now to get a fifth axis machine. A lot of our work is mainly predominantly square, so it's just mainly to save up on setup times, just a tooling life as well it makes a big difference. But predominantly, just we need to save up on save on setup times to make the process a bit faster. And what's the transition been like for you personally from free axis to fifth axis machinery? Um, to be honest, we were worried at the start, but um, it's actually been quite simple. Um, a lot of the work we do is quite straightforward. There is quite a few tight limits, but that doesn't change whether you're fifth axis or just the standard three plus one or, or what you're doing. So uh, it's been quite simple, to be fair. The Spinner U620 from Whitehouse Machine Tools, it's a four plus one. You've not gone for full simultaneous because the work you do is, is predominantly just square work. Yeah. Now, in regards to the programming of this and, and, and the amount of operations it's saving, can you give me some examples, please? Uh, so we've gone down from five ops to two because um, of relieving the metal and, and the processes we're taking, doing a lot smaller cuts, running a lot faster. Um, just means the metal stays more consistent, all your parts stay more consistent. Um, but yes, setup times wise, we've invested a lot in tooling and try and basically we got, I think there's about nine components, all the, exactly the same tooling. So setup time on those, if you're switching between job to job, it's, it's, there is no setup time basically. And, and what tooling do you use? So we've opted for a lot of MA Ford cutters. We were uh, recommended through um, when we bought the machine through White House. Um, it's a completely different way to how we normally machine stuff. Um, it took a bit of getting used to trials and uh, tests in a few different styles of cutters, but we're pretty happy with what we're getting now in tool life and costings. So, I mean, before you were boring the bores in yes. this component, um, but now you're actually circle interpolating them on the on the yes. spinner. So now this is, this is testament to the accuracy yes. and also the speed of the machine. So we've got a 0.02 limit on all the bores and on the concentricity between the bores. Um, normally we'd always have to bore it, fiddle around with all our positions and the programs. But lucky on here, it makes, it makes life so much easier when you're not having to bore anything. Matching tools up, um, one tool does all around the side, across the bottoms, all the rads, um, so you don't have to worry about anything really. So keeping the relationships from each face yeah. consistent, is, is this, this machine really helped you? Yeah. It, it, kind of elim eliminates human error really um, obviously there's a lot to go wrong still but um, yeah it's been a lot easier to to do than we thought and in regards to the programming uh, of, of this machine um, how has that been for you obviously from going to free axis to to fifth axis um, it's been a bit more in depth but it's not been a lot of, a lot of change really um, once you get your head around swiveling the part round, it's not a lot of the work we've done so far is quite straightforward. It's all on 90 degrees, so it's pretty simple to be honest. You you programming directly into the machine or offline? So we're doing it offline at the moment. Well, we will be doing it offline, but we have got the option with the Siemens control. I program basic programs on there, just little stuff. We need to rush stuff through. It saves everyone time if I quickly do a small program, but it, even that is quite simple, straightforward. Uh, if you're doing harder stuff, um, more to it, it's, it's not worth it. Um, but when you're doing all the, oh, we need to rush this through, it's, it's so much quicker. And looking at the machine, it looks a, a, a great bit of kit. The accessibility looks, looks brilliant, really. You've got two doors that open up. What was the reason you went for this machine? I mean, the, the, the fifth axis market, there's lots of options out there at the minute. What was your thought process and why did you decide to go on this machine? Um, went for this machine because of size. 
fits in perfectly. A lot of the 5X is quite large. Um, it's real easy to get in and out. Well, get parts in and out, it's real close. A lot of the stuff we do is quite heavy, so we don't really want to be lifting anything or doing anything that side. But predominantly, we got it through White House because we bought one machine on so far. The training they offer, compared to a lot of companies, is, is far better. So because it was our first five axis, we don't really know. We didn't really know what to expect with the machine. So we we needed a sort of a helping hand really, and just making sure we're going to do stuff right, and the process we can do right. What's the machine capable of? But they give you that security that you'll be able to do the job. They can come down and help you out, sell it up, get your first ones ready. And even if you've got any problems in the future, they're always there to help you out. So, it, so it, that was a lot of the reason why we went for the spinner. So they, they didn't just sell your machine effectively, they've no. project managed the components, yeah. they've helped you achieve a sustainable process on this machine. Yeah, it took a while to do, but we worked with them. So um, basically we, we didn't even know what machine we were gonna go for. We gave them the part and said, we, we wanna make these, we wanna do it in this time, what can you do? They do a time study, um, and if we're happy with that one, so oh, we, we give it a go. They basically programmed up the whole job, ran one off, showed us what it was capable of, and they're pretty confident what, what their machines can do. So because of the way the last machine went with the Belia, um, the confidence that gave us to do the next job, the next machine with them was far better. It, took away the, uh, the bit of the guesswork you have to do in the hype. But.